So I have one last comment to make or item to talk about before we're done with section 1-1 one, one and can move on to 1-2, namely Likert scale. Or if it's Likert scale. I, I always said Likert scale, but I don't know if it's right. Now, it's the most frequently used ordinal scale. Um, it's the one where you are asked, for example, um, you know, how did you feel about this movie? You know, favorable, not favorable, that kind of thing, or or excellent, good, fair, poor, that kind of thing. Those are Likert scale, named for the psychologist who invented them, called um, named Francis Likert, or Likert again. Not sure how to pronounce his name. All right, so that is a really common example. It's been modified a lot, and they they talk about it in here. That they're not really quite the same, but essentially a lot of people treat rating scales like that. So he in particular was interested in, you know, favorable, less favorable, that kind of the more with words. And it's been morphed into, you know, how do you feel about your instructor? Rate them on a scale of, you know, one to 10, that kind of thing. So let me go grab some examples of Likert scale questions for you. There we go. I have to admit, I'm a big Roger Federer fan, so... Oh, and while I was gone, I looked it up. It's Likert, so there you go. That's half of my statistics professors are wrong in their pronunciation, I get. Anyway, all right, so Roger Federer is the greatest tennis player of all time, and then you check a box for strongly agree, agree, neither agree nor disagree, disagree, right? I mean, everybody's done a million of these. I get them for work all the time. You also get them for faculty members sometimes. Um you know, good, fair, poor, that kind of rating. Oops, poof, like magic. I just wanted to show you something else. Like, for example, here on Consumer Reports, the reviewers compile their answers to, for example, this was looking at elliptical trainers here. And they have excellent, very good, good, fair, poor. That's a Likert scale. And they're using it to show, you know, the ergonomics of this elliptical were excellent. The exercise range was only good and so on and so it's giving you like Likert sorry I'm gonna keep doing that Likert scale ratings for these different items I mean and Consumer Reports uses them all the time uh, Rate My Professor uses it all the time I mean you, you, you can't get away from surveys not using a Likert scale I mean they just do always and there's some debate in the statistics community about whether that's a good thing or not so speaking of which let's talk about that so there are some some trickiness with it so let's talk about this often Likert scales are conflated with rating scales ie using numbers one two three four five with five highest for example Right? Or sometimes five lowest, it depends. And that creates some of the confusion. Um, but studies have shown that numbers are more confusing for people to work with than words, believe it or not. Um, you, you get more accuracy when you use words like a degree, strongly disagree, etc. Sometimes um, too many options are listed, right? Like, for example, one through, you know, ten for something is often unnecessary. Um, an example of an opposite case to that might be movies, where that ten scale ratings used a lot, but that's because we all have so much background going into it. Sometimes um, a neutral option isn't included, such as, you know, the, the neither agree nor disagree, the, the I'm neutral, or the um, don't know option, which means you're forcing people to take care, to take a stance when they, when they don't want to. Hold on one sec. But the big problem, in my opinion, and many statisticians' opinion, um, the if you use a numbering scale, oh, I gotta pause this because otherwise I'm gonna run out of time. Um, if, if you say, oh, I'm gonna scale you on one through five, where one is strongly disagree and five is strongly agree, and then I start giving you an average to that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything because the numbers one through five were no good to begin with. For example, my rate my professor thing. I mean, what does 4.4 mean? Who knows, <laughs> right?